Okay, you've seen racing, and that went very well, but let's see how a long jump goes. So here we are, we're going to start off with our racing champion, as always, Hot Wheels. And then after that will be the truck that lost him, and that truck being El Toro Loco Zombie. So you already know how it works, and if you don't know, well, go check out my other videos where I explain it. Alright, so here we go, Hot Wheels. Nice sky wheelie move by Hot Wheels. Nice landing. And truck to beat is Hot Wheels. Now let's get him out of there. Get him out of the way. Okay. And then next up, the losing truck. Can he redeem himself here? It's El Toro Loco Zombie. Oh boy. And a hard hit there for El Toro Loco Zombie who is now your new leader, landing on the middle cans there. Perfect aim. And your leader is now El Toro Loco Zombie. But well, let's see what Gravedigger Overcast can do. Representing Team North. And here he goes. Lands almost in the same place as Hot Wheels, sort of. And over he goes. Pretty hard landing. Get him out of there. Okay, so that was Grave Digger. Now here comes El Toro Loco, 2008. Yeah, bugs flying around and getting in my face. And here we go, El Toro, oh man. And new leader, El Toro Loco, 2008. And yeah, he went a little too hard there. Let's see where he landed. Right there, right there. So that is your truck to beat, El Toro Loco 2008. Wow. And up next, representing Team North, that's El Toro, Earth Shaker Hunter. Oh, what a hard landing there. He tried to save it, but over he goes. So that was Earth Shaker Hunter. Now let's see what El Matador can do. Haven't seen him for a while. Here he is again, and here he goes. And a hard landing for El Matador. Coming down hard on the front end. Somersaults it, lands it back on all four. But he will not get the win over El Toro Loco, or at least the lead anyways. Yeah. All right, I'll deal with it later. Okay, next up, representing Team North, it is Snakebite. And some serious elevation, Holmes. Landed flat on all four and tried to keep going. But just <laughs> didn't go far enough. So, El Toro Loco 2008 is still your leader. Well, let's see what the sheer madness one can do. Let's hope he's sobered up because he's kind of, he was kind of drunk and racing. Oh! Oh, and a hard landing right on the can there. Flattening it real good. All right, so he may have not gotten the win, but at least he destroyed something, which is why, which is another reason why I like doing long jump because of that, because I love this thing. I could not get, I could not walk away from it when I first got it. I had too much fun with it. I came very close to hitting the TV. <laughs> All right. Anyways, representing Team Norse is Titan and Clash of the Titans coming down hard on the front end, flipping it over. And he will not get the win over El Toro Loco 2008. But let's see what the black one can do. My favorite one. And here he goes. And front flips it. Landing hard on the roof. That had to have hurt. I'm sure it did. A lot. Before we move on to the next truck, let's clear the way. Oh, man. He destroyed that thing. The sheer man is El Toro Loco. He's still there. Okay, representing Team North is Monster Mutt Rottweiler. And nice air, nice landing, right on the blue can, flattening it real good. So he will not begin the win, but 10 points for destruction, I suppose. Well, let's see what the Overcast El Toro can do here. And here he goes. Oh, flying high, landing hard. Looks like we have a new leader. Yes, right there. 
Uh, it's kind of hard to figure out oh, how he landed. But that's his mark right there. So, El Toro Loco Overcast is your new leader. Well, look out. Here comes Zombie Fire. Get those arms up and yay. Whoa, landing it on four and then ending, and ending it on the tailgate. So, Zombie Fire will not get the win. Get him out of there. Yeah. You don't deal with that later. But here comes El Toro Loco Ice. Representing Team North and Team Ice and... And I said Team North. What is this, opposite day? Hey, um... Uh, uh, Team South has Earthshaker and then Team North has El Toro Loco Ice. And, um... Also, nice air, good landing, destroying the racing lane, which is fine. I was going to destroy it anyways. Put something else there for freestyle. Don't know what. Freestyle might be a little bit delayed because I got things to do tomorrow. All right, anyways, representing Team North, it is the king of the monster trucks. It's, it's Bigfoot. Landing it flat on the roof. Hard landing, but... Good job, though, I guess. I don't know. And look out. Here comes El Superfasto. It was a cool-looking look. That made no sense. A cool paint scheme, I guess what I'm trying to say here. And here he goes. All right, landing it on the on the back tires, which caused him to flip over, and there he is now. Okay. So, next up, it is Max D. Red. And he did a double forward momentum backflip. I did the best I could to catch it. These things go so fast. I, I, I try, guys. I try. I'm not a professional video taker or whatever they're called. Cameraman. Yeah. You'd think I'd be after doing it in this for nine years, but nah. Some things never change, I suppose. Anyways, representing Team North. Or, uh, I did it again. Team South. Bulldozer. And he lands on the Hot Wheels track, not getting anywhere. Except for in between the tracks after hitting them. So that'll do it for Bulldozer. Okay, representing Team North, the brand new truck, the St. Jude Emoji Strong. And here he goes. Unbelievable air. Comes up just a little short, so El Toro Loco Overcast is still your leader. But let's see what Calavera can do. And here we go. Forward momentum front flip taking out the middle. The middle jump. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to adjust that. You know, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, we only got four trucks left here. Such as this one. This one being one of them. It's Gravedigger 40th anniversary. Representing Team North and going high. But came up a little short. So El Toro Loco Overcast is still your leader. Pretty sure he's gonna win this. I'm just doing it for the fun of it now. Oh, and also, oh, I like to point out that these guys are jumping over the audience. I did how cool that'd be in real life and dangerous at the same time. Anyways, representing Team Sounds is El Toro Loco Yellow. Oh, ouch. Right on the middle ramp there. That had to have hurt. Okay. So that'll do it for El Toro. But here comes the team captain of Team North, Northern Nightmare Inverse. The truck that I'm in, and here I go. Yeah. And I went out in style. I may have not gotten the win, but I did a little bit of destruction. Yeah, I fi figured I might as well have it aimed for that because I doubt that any of them were going to hit it in free saw. I mean, look what I... look. I mean, look how close it is to that ramp. I mean, unless they trip and then Kamikaze into it. All right, so El Toro Loco Overcast is still your leader, but here comes the captain of Team South, El Toro Loco True Heavy Metal. If he doesn't get the win, he's going to do some serious damage, that's for sure, either to himself or the, those cans there, which are completely flattened now. Well, sort of. Anyways, here we go. Oh. Oh. That means your winner is El Toro Loco Overcast. Who's in it again? Oh, Max Up Gear Up. The one we haven't heard from in a long time.
still good to have you back, man, and congratulations on winning long jump. All right, here's your own core. Okay, oh, kind of was a little wobbly going down. <laughs> El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco, true heavy metal. You just destroy that thing. Getting a head start for freestyle, almost like a high jump. All right, so that will conclude long jump. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for freestyle, whenever that may be. Maybe postponed to the day after tomorrow. Because um, I'm going to go out and buy some fireworks. Maybe I'll record a short video of it. Uh, who knows. Alright, see you later.